Welcome back, everyone. We have two sessions in this in this part of the side day. Right now, we will begin with session four, where we'll be talking about MSF's experience of managing COVID-19 burden in Mumbai. And to present and talk about this, we have Dr. Stobdan Kalon. He is the medical coordinator for MSF in India, who will be presenting this to us. Dr. Stobdan is a medical doctor who's had over 20 years of experience working with MSF and in the humanitarian field for over 16 years. His experience spans from managing infectious diseases, interventions in DRTB, hepatitis, HIV, uh, to, uh, to MCH, primary healthcare and emergency interventions, both in the field and from headquarters in operations in countries like Uzbekistan, Armenia, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, and many more. Welcome, Dr. Stabdan. Handing over to you now. Thank you, Aditi. Uh... Hello, good evening, good morning, uh, uh, friends and colleagues uh, uh, around the world. Uh, so I will be uh, sharing with you today uh, the experiences of uh, our uh, COVID intervention uh, that we implemented, which we, which we have been implementing in uh, Mumbai in collaboration with the Municipal Corporation of Mumbai. Uh, all right, so uh, to give you um, uh, an overview about uh, uh, the context where we work. Uh, so this is a place where uh, MSF has been working uh, for HIV uh, and tuberculosis from, uh, since 1999. Uh, and then uh, the program has been, uh, MSF uh, interventions have been evolving over time uh, with regards to related to the emerging needs. And then in uh, 2016, MSF uh, started a collaboration with the, uh, with the government, the Municipal Corporation of Mumbai, and the National TB Program for implementing a drug resistant TB program at the Sakasi Hospital, uh, which is one of the hospitals in ME, one of the wards of Mumbai. Uh, MSF, uh, during its uh, program uh, in, over the years, has been providing access to treatment for severe forms of uh, HIV and drug resistant tuberculosis uh, that were not routinely available in the public or the private. Um, uh, operation research and advocacy um, has been an integral in, in, uh, component of the interventions, uh, focusing of late uh, mainly on uh, the new TB drugs, the Dacolin and the Laminate. Uh, pediatric TB is a big focus uh, in the coming years, and uh, TB diagnostics and uh, other, other uh, components of TB care, like modern care as well. So, uh, to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, how uh, the significance of COVID in the Mumbai context uh, and India in general, as, uh, as you all uh, are aware that India uh, is now uh, ranked second in the world in terms of absolute number of uh, COVID cases. Um, this slide is a little bit uh, outdated uh, as per the recent information. The current uh, numbers of cases in India have gone about 8 million. And, uh, actually, uh, and then Maharashtra is about 1.6 million, and Mumbai is uh, uh, nearly 300,000 cases as of now. And Mumbai has been uh, among the worst affected uh, cities uh, uh, in, in the country. Uh, and the state of Maharashtra particularly has been most severely affected, and Mumbai as the, as the, uh, the biggest hotspot uh, in, the, in the state uh, as well as in the, in the country. Uh, so, uh, to tell you a little bit about the, uh, the context, uh, the specific site where uh, MSF uh, and Municipal Corporation of Mumbai uh, initiated this uh, collaborative uh, 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 pro uh, program. So, um, as you know, um, uh, as you would know, that slums of Mumbai um, have been uh, known hotspots for COVID with highest reported mortalities in some of the slums. Uh, Mumbai uh, uh, and East Ward is one such location where um, almost 70, about 77% of the population uh, lives in the slums. And this also happens to be the site of the, uh, the MSF and uh, government uh, TV collaborative project. So uh, uh, the reason MSF uh, started the, uh, uh, the, uh, the intervention in this site uh, was uh, uh, because of the uh, high proportions of uh, 
TB, uh, and uh, and it's uh, also a, also a hotspot for other public health uh, diseases. So uh, it's a lot of patients uh, uh, with uh, high risk uh, uh, comorbidities uh, are living in this population. Um, and, and then, uh, as I mentioned, this also happens in the site where uh, there, there, there is an existing MSS operation here. Um, so with, uh, with, uh, um, Therefore, it was uh, the, the logical choice for MSF to uh, actually uh, 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 select this as a site, uh, as this is one of the most uh, vulnerable communities, and we already had a presence here. So, uh, so as I mentioned, so this was a this was a model, a comprehensive model where where prevention, uh, testing, screening, and testing, uh, treatment, uh, psychological support. Uh, uh, were all all provided uh, to the patients. So, uh, in terms of prevention, uh, the the main objective were to raise awareness and improve uh, health seeking behavior uh, through preventive activities like IEC and health promotion, improving water and sanitation uh, conditions uh, in the slums uh, and also in the health facilities, uh, distribution of hygiene and preventive kits uh, to the community. And uh, with regards to diagnostics uh, and treatment capacity, uh, to strengthen the screening and testing uh, in the, uh, uh, the fever clinics uh, in the community and in the hospital, um, and uh, treatment in the, uh, the treatment facility where uh, uh, MSF supported the municipal operation in the Chetapi Hospital. Uh, and uh, for, uh, with a specific focus on moderate to severe uh, levels of uh, case management, and uh, as mentioned, uh, psychological support uh, in, in those factors. Uh, with regards to the uh, wash activities and health promotion, uh, yeah. uh, we distributed nearly 20,000 hygiene kits uh, to a population of approximately 100,000. Uh, mass awareness sessions were conducted using auto exposure tuk -tuk and distribution of uh, leaflets uh, in the community uh, in different settings uh, and in public, uh, basically in the public uh, facilities. Uh, the kits included uh, things like uh, cloth masks, uh, soap, uh, IC, uh, Handouts, information handouts about uh, infection control and prevention. Uh, the other activities in the wash uh, were uh, cleaning and disinfection of public toilets. Uh, so more than 350 toilets uh, were uh, uh, covered, uh, catering, which uh, catered to about 20,000 slum toilets. Provision of uh, things like dustbins and waste management and. Uh, Regular trainings and PPEs for uh, COVID protection for the sanitary workers in these toilets, um, um, and improvise the IP, uh, infection prevention and control at the uh, set up the hospital and the fever clinic, including provision of mosquito nets uh, and other means of uh, improving uh, infection control in these health facilities. With regards to the testing. Uh, uh, Till the time uh, we uh, we had screened uh, nearly 8,000 uh, patients, uh, uh, and uh, we we uh, were using the existing uh, government uh, testing facilities uh, uh, where they were using uh, uh, RT-PCR tests at the time, uh, and very recently MSF uh, introduced a point of care uh, test, a rapid confirmatory test, a gene expert test uh, in in the in the Shetapi hospital. And uh, MSF also introduced, um, um, besides um, uh, IEC, um, uh, uh, pre- and post-test counseling to the, uh, to the patients as well, and uh, uh, referral facilities from the, uh, the MSF TB uh, clinics uh, and the fever clinics to the COVID hospitals or other COVID uh, facilities in the community. With regards to the treatment, um, the hospital where MSF had been working uh, it used to be a 200 bedded hospital, multi uh, specialty secondary hospital. Uh, the entire hospital, like many of the hospitals in Mumbai, were converted into a COVID uh, hospital, 100 bedded uh, COVID hospital. Uh, so, um, where um, uh, moderate to severe cases of COVID were to be managed. Uh, so, uh, MSF.
that have introduced uh, uh, in this hospital uh, things like uh, high flow nasal cannula uh, devices um, um, to improve the uh, uh, case management of the moderate to severe cases and, um, and with the objective of also uh, reducing the uh, patients uh, getting into critical condition and thereby reducing the workload of the critical care units. Uh, more recently, MSF has been supporting a uh, high dependency unit uh, in the hundred various uh, COVID specialized mix of hospitals in Mumbai uh, with uh, human resources and equipment. As the, uh, the health facility, uh, the COVID facility in uh, Shadapi Hospital was, uh, 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 was uh, reconverted into a regular hospital. Um, other uh, uh, significant things uh, that we did during this uh, intervention was uh, adapting our existing TB interventions uh, 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 to the COVID situation, where uh, TB patients were uh, at, uh, at risk to uh, develop, um, uh, develop COVID. So um, uh, uh, infection control measures were uh, put in place, uh, whereby uh, reducing the risk for the patients and staff and their families. Um, um, a model of care uh, evolved uh, depending on the needs and the opportunities, uh, whereby uh, 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 drug, uh, drug refills uh, for longer periods were given to the patients so that patients don't have to uh, come to health facilities as often. Teleconsultation for medical and psychosocial uh, support uh, was initiated. Uh, health promotion activities for TB and COVID as well, uh, over phone and through community healthcare workers and community uh, were started. Uh, distribution for rations uh, rations for about um, nearly 2,000 patients were, was done. Um, health promotion and IEC activities, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, was uh, one of the uh, uh, major community-based uh, uh, activities done, uh, where a uh, uh, team would go around uh, in tuk uh in the, the slum settings. Uh, they were, uh, uh, we collaborated with the other uh, community-based organizations and local NGOs to further disseminate uh, the uh, preventive uh, materials and uh, uh, messages in the community. Um, we face a number of challenges um, uh, in the course of uh, implementing these activities. Uh, um, things like uh, distribution of hygiene kits in the slum communities was extremely challenging. Um, so uh, team came up with, uh, uh, with, a, with a system of assigning time slots for different uh, sections of the community to avoid uh, overcrowding. Uh, there was uh, uh, there were challenges for patients for testing, uh, low uptake of tests uh, because of stigma and uh, uh, fear of getting isolated. Um, uh, MSF uh, uh, introduced uh, uh, messages, uh, hopefully, uh, and counseling uh, whereby uh, to reduce stigma and increase uptake of testing. Testing was only uh, hospital-based, and MSF introduced uh, testing on outpatient basis in the single clinic in the hospital or, uh, OPD. Um, uh, sample collection was uh, limited. It was organized once a day uh, till 2 o'clock. Uh, and uh, with, with the hour counselors, uh, we made sure that the patients were missed out. Uh, they, they, they were uh, recalled for the next, uh, appointments next day. And, uh, this, uh, and then uh, finally, we introduced the point of care team expert as uh, to improve the access to testing. Um, uh, although there were challenges to that also, um, uh, uh, that uh, we can talk about. Uh, uh, and then uh, there were limited uh, number of beds for quarantine uh, for patients with um, mild, moderate cases. And the team has a problem by identifying other quarantine centers uh, in the context of the community. Um, the intensive care units where uh, the patients would be referred from the hospital, uh, like most other uh, ICUs in Mumbai, uh, were overloaded uh, up to uh, almost 90%. Uh, so uh, this actually uh, gave rise to the, uh, the model of care uh, uh, that MSF implemented here uh, to 
focus on severe, moderate to severe cases, uh, which could be managed with uh, oxygen uh, therapy using high flow nasal cannulas you know, to reduce the uh, uh, patients who would go into critical care and thereby reducing the decongesting the uh, ICU. Uh, one of the bigger gaps, uh, biggest gaps in uh, needs were the uh, uh, need for uh, specialized healthcare workers. And that is what NFA provided to the, uh, the hospitals, uh, hospitals uh, where we work. Um, there were challenges uh, with people uh, coming in because of uh, restrictions due to COVID, and with the uh, with, uh, with the support of the uh, corporation, we managed to get uh, finally uh, staff from other parts of the country. Uh, in terms of lessons learned, uh, uh, in terms of for prevention, uh, we, we realized. Uh, uh, we could be perhaps more uh, effective if we could uh, prioritize on the higher risk groups, which later on uh, give, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, helped us to uh, reorient uh, the, the, the preventive activities for more specific uh, 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 shielding intervention, uh, which is yet to be finalized. We are working on that uh, for, for the high, uh, more uh, at risk population. Um, Free, uh, free test counseling and health promotion was useful in the uh, uptake of testing. Uh, point of care tests for COVID testing, uh, which we try to set up uh, in, in the setup in hospital. Uh, it did take a lot of time, uh, but uh, uh, we believe it, uh, it seems it uh, would be more uh, more useful and uh, will have a higher utility if we would uh, shift this to the bigger COVID hospital where a larger number of patients could benefit. So we are in the process of relocating the, uh, the tests there. And use of high flow nasal cannula machines, uh, uh, whereby we achieve higher cure rates and reduce the burden on the care unit and psychological support with the ITV care. Uh, so currently where we are, uh, as I mentioned, after the closure of the set of the hospital, the, the team has been relocated to the 1,000 bedded uh, uh, Bandra Kurla Complex Jumbo Hospital in Mumbai. Uh, the gene expert uh, test is being relocated uh, to this uh, hospital um, to benefit more uh, patients with critical condition and, uh, possibly, uh, uh, and, and benefit more patients as well. Um, uh, screening uh, of uh, TB and drug uh, resistant TB patients uh, and other risk groups continues as a, as a, as a priority activity. Uh, community uh, interventions uh, can, uh, uh, it remains also an important activity that we continue. And with regards to the future uh, planning, uh, we intend to also focus on uh, capacity building of the local healthcare workers for COVID care and treatment, particularly for the model care using the high flow and other devices. Uh, digital health promotion and targeted health promotion for vulnerable communities is ongoing uh, using social media. Um, um, uh, we are considering mobile-based, uh, community-based uh, testing, uh, COVID screening, uh, uh, screening, sorry, not testing. Uh, and as I mentioned, a shielding intervention is uh, under discussion uh, with, the, uh, with the objective to uh, support, uh, protect the vulnerable communities uh, like elderly, formal patients with comorbidities and other socially vulnerable populations um, uh, through uh, hygiene kits and, uh, uh, and other preventive uh, uh, items. Uh, in conclusion, um, uh, uh, collaboration with the Ministry of Health or the Music Corporation of Mumbai and local NGOs and the uh, other civil, uh, civil society uh, or community-based organizations uh, was very productive and facilitated a com greater community acceptance. Uh, use of high flow nasal cannulas uh, in the IPDs was uh, uh, very effective in uh, reducing the load on the ICUs and strengthening the overall medical response to COVID, a model that, which uh, was successful and that should be replicated. Um, uh, we had a uh, um, uh, very uh, uh, useful uh, a byproduct um, um, uh, of, uh, of COVID uh, in, in the TB, uh, which was the uh, implementation of uh, all oral regimens uh, to the TB, uh, TB patients uh, um, to, to make it easier for them to uh, 
uh, complete their treatment was a very uh, uh, a very uh, useful uh, beneficial uh, byproduct of COVID. Um, so it was uh, otherwise uh, an area uh, uh, a topic that uh, we have been advocating uh, for uh, with, the, uh, with the CB program. And uh, due to COVID, this is something that uh, became a reality. Uh, so we, uh, we intend to consolidate and uh, uh, scale it up further. Use of digital health media or telehealth in uh, providing uh, care to CB uh, patients uh, was an innovation, was helpful for patients as well as, as, well as uh, healthcare uh, workers. Uh, integrated models of uh, diagnostics uh, for CB and COVID uh, uh, was uh, successfully established. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a model that would uh, promote Western use of resources and synergies between the two vertical programs. Uh, and then uh, finally, uh, context uh, specific strategies and use of local resources was helpful in providing comprehensive COVID management to the local vulnerable, uh, to the vulnerable communities. Uh, so, yes, uh, that was uh, about uh, the, uh, our intervention. I'll be happy to take questions. And I would like to take the opportunity to uh, um, thank uh, the uh, MCTM Mumbai and the set up the hospital uh, management and the staff, various community healthcare workers and other CDOs, uh, our patients and the families, and the MSF team on the front line. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Stobden, for this presentation. We have quite a few questions. Unfortunately, we won't be able to take, take all of them because of paucity paucity of time. Um, first question is from Dr. Johor Rehan. What's the percentage of presence of both COVID and TB positive or patient coming along with long-standing history of TB? What's the per percentage of possibility of being positive with COVID? Uh we were anticipating uh, high uh, co-infection rates, but uh, you know, fortunately, uh, in, 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 in the Indian context, this has been one of the uh, intriguing uh, things. Uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the proportion of uh, TB and COVID infections have been very low. Um, I would say even, uh, uh, I don't have the percentages right now. I think it would be even 1% or uh, perhaps uh, very, very low, very very insignificant. We screened, uh, we have been systematically screening and we haven't found uh, significant, uh, in thousands, uh, hundreds of patients that we have screened, we've found uh, hardly uh, less than five positive patients, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I, can, I can verify uh, these numbers and um, I share with you mm -hmm. later. Uh, so uh, very few patients, similar findings we have seen in the, uh, in the uh, TB hospitals in Delhi uh, for, with our MOS partners. Uh, interestingly, uh, uh, they, they saw uh, in, in Delhi higher COVID uh, infection among former TB patients who had uh, post TB sequelae, maybe damaged lungs. So that was something interesting. It's a it's a it's a it's a research area that uh, we will have uh, only uh, those will give us answers about uh, this uh, low co-infection rate uh, in the Indian context, unlike uh, in the African setting. Where perhaps you know there were other confounders like maybe HIV uh, infection as well among the TB patients. Okay, uh, we'll take one more question. That's from Husrav Sadri. Did you find that regular TB treatment activity suffered as a result of COVID nineteen lockdown, despite the teleconsultation and other services which began to compensate for the lockdown? Oh yes, indeed. Uh, TB as uh, everything else. Uh, the cyclone uh, um, uh, uh, throughout the country. Uh, I think not only in India, everywhere else, uh, uh, the health services were badly affected. Everything got COVIDized. The entire attention uh, focus was COVID, and healthcare workers who were uh, doing TB were diverted to, uh, and other things were diverted to uh, working for uh, COVID. As I mentioned, the hospital where we were working, everybody they were gynecologists, there were ENT surgeons, there were ophthalmologists, everybody was working for COVID. And same goes for the uh, TB uh, program people. The, the TB program uh, lab uh, director was uh, in charge of the COVID diagnostics, so on. And then, uh, like everything else, uh, TB suffered. The uh, case finding uh, was uh, drastically, uh, uh, case uh, finding uh, dropped down. Um, uh, our uh, patients who would uh, be uh, uh, Utilization rates of gene expert testing, uh, which is 
uh, case finding tool dropped down dramatically, uh, less than 50%. Um, uh, and, uh, and then uh, uh, existing patients uh, in, in a context like Mumbai, where many of those come from rural areas uh, of uh, UP, Bihar, and other places, as everybody knows, there was a massive exodus of uh, uh, people from uh, uh, particularly slum dwellers uh, in, uh, in Mumbai. Uh, so in, among our TB cohort, uh, there, were, there were a lot of patients who, who, who uh, uh, left out uh, and uh, uh, were lost to follow up or at least inter treatment interrupted. Their treatment was interrupted. Thank you for joining us.